Hey everyone, welcome back to another New World video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's video, I want to go over how you guys can actually make coin when the trading post has been disabled. As you guys know, this is the second time that Amazon has actually disabled the New World trading post or just all wealth transfer in general, but haven't actually disabled all wealth at all. And by that, I mean, you still have to pay taxes if you're a governor and own a territory, then you guys actually have to pay for the upkeep on your town, which you now can't do. Uh, invasions actually still downgrade um, your your town and you can't upgrade it and things like that. And there's a lot of things that, in my opinion, if they're going to disable the wealth transfer that they also need to be able to disable. But that's just my opinion. That's not what necessarily the video is about. I do want to address it just a little bit, a little bit, just because, you know, I had to pay over $2,000 in 2000 coins in taxes yesterday when the markets were down. And obviously I need to do other things to actually go ahead and make that up. Now, yesterday, I think I actually made 2000 coins just from doing my everyday activities. But I want to go over some of the best ways of actually farming coin if you guys haven't already done some of these things or things that you guys can actually do while the trading post is down that hopefully will make you even more coin when the trading post comes back online. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into it. And we're actually going to start by talking about how you guys can actually just participate in any of the quests. So any quests around the world will allow you guys to actually get coin. You can see that participating in this one in a level 26 zone, I'm actually here in Brightwood. I can make 80 or 98 coin. It's not the best it's not the worst but it is coin that you guys could make even if you're not selling anything at the trading post at least this is coin that you guys can at least make to part start working on other things whether it's to work worry about like the uh the taxes that are in the towns in your refinery that you guys are participating in and all of those other things as well now the other thing that you guys can actually do is you can really just focus on your trade skills because this is where a lot of the money making will happen when you guys start getting up to that close to that 200 level and a lot of different things. There are a lot of things that I could easily go ahead and address as far as money making opportunities, but they aren't money making opportunities because there's nothing that you guys can do with them. But I do recommend that you guys get as many of your, um, your trade skills up to 200 as possible. You know, I got my armoring up to 161. Uh, I have cooking up to 165. I've addressed kind of both of these in a couple different videos before. And jewel crafting is something that I do want to work on, but I know it's just going to take a lot of time. And I've been on the hunt for a lot of different jewels right now by just opening up a ton of chests, going after any ore veins that I can, whether they're iron, star metal, doesn't matter, a platinum or a calcum, whatever, just to get as many jewels as possible. So those are things that you guys can actually go ahead and do and then work on those that jewelry crafting or whatever you really want to like specialize in. It really doesn't matter because everything has an opportunity to make some money. But um, there are ones that are a little bit better than others. And I think that the one, there's a couple things that are only going to be like one-time purchases and then people are going to be kind of done. Now, the other thing that you guys can obviously do is work on all the refinery and gathering. Uh, this will actually help you eventually make more money in the, in the long run. And I've been working on my logging and my woodworking at the exact same time because they pretty much do go hand in hand. And then any times that I, I do find jewels from my mining that I'm doing or just anything in general, I've been stone cutting them as best as I possibly can. And I've gone up and ju just in the last couple of days, Probably like 15 levels from just focusing on cutting gems, which eventually I'll be able to use those gems to do more jewel crafting, which is fantastic. Now, as far as like money itself, you guys, uh, what I've actually done, believe it or not, is taking my level 60 and going into just lower level areas that have dense mob populations. So an example of this would be pretty much any farm location, you know, on the on the map, whether it's here or there, other, you know, there are places that are going to be better than others. Like there's a couple farms down here in um, Windsworth that have just a ton of mobs. And not every mob that you kill, you're going to get coin, but you will get something out of it. Now, higher level mobs will give you more coin that you guys will earn, but obviously it's going to be a little bit more difficult of a challenge. Now, as a level 60, I can one shot, um, even with my bow, up to a, like level 45, 
um i can just one shot him and be done and you know i can make up to 10 coins just for getting a kill and i've been actually helping a friend that's a, not a level 60 do some of the request and that's actually one of the ways that i've been able to just make coin by helping them in the process because obviously i've already done the quests because they're doing some of their main storyline but i can help them in areas that it might be a little bit more difficult for them and make some more coin off of it now another thing that you guys can participate in is the portals now, obviously the higher level the portal portal the higher amount of gold or coin that you guys will make but you also make a's off from this you actually get a couple of rewards and then hopefully you can refine those those uh things that you guys need like the fragments and stuff into more tuning orbs which will hopefully make you guys more money as well so there's a lot of different things that i feel like people can actually go ahead and work on right now yes now your refining and your skill tradings might not necessarily be money or coin right now but over time you'll start making more money or you might actually just say hey you know what i want to focus on this because i want something for myself but anything that i don't want for myself you know what i might be able to sell for two thousand three thousand a pop and easily be able to make significant significant coin for it when the trading post does come online and that's kind of how i'm taking this shutdown am i disappointed that the trading post is up of course i am there's things that i would love to be able to do and things that i would love to be able to sell i feel like i'm hoarding way too much stuff right now and when the market comes up up on up whatever that might be because there is no estimated time of arrival or fix for the the trading post and i already checked this morning there is nothing nothing on the forums nothing that has even has a remote of what's going i mean we know what's going on but we don't know the, the more specifics about it the last thing is if you guys are a level 60 that you guys can actually participate in is if you go to some of the outposts in the elite areas and i could say great cleave um you have eating grove and shatter mountain we have the great cleaves outpost the Mount, mountain home and then also this one right here the valor hold those three you guys can actually go to and there is a person that you can speak to about outpost rush and if you win you can make three to four hundred coins which is pretty nice and most of those matches take about 15 to 20 minutes i would say the average is about 15 minutes sometimes obviously a little bit longer but you do have up to 45 minutes for that to play out but I don't, i've never been in a match that's longer than that however i've only participated in outpost rush like six times total so that's on a very selected and few different uh battles that i could actually say that i've been a part of but the shortest game that i've been a part of was actually less than 10 minutes believe it or not it was a domination of our team against their teams and easily able to make over 300 coin just in under 10 minutes without having a trading post make those those money hopefully some of this information helps you guys out and things that you guys can do to hopefully just kind of be prepared for when the trading post does come back up and make a little bit of more coin along the way just from doing things day to day here in new world but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you guys go in like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming